Well, hello again from Canada. I hope everybody's having a great weekend, and I hope everybody's pretty groovy. I know I am. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different, um, kind of out of my comfort zone, and something that I haven't seen anybody do before, and it's something that is kind of dear to my heart from when I was a kid. Yes, I'm going to say it. Michael Jackson, Billie Jean. Now that was my jam. So I thought that I would do something that was close to my heart. Like I said, do Billie Jean's Michael Jackson on a nail and see how it turns out. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but hopefully you guys can be on my journey with me and um, we'll have some fun doing it. So I've already prepared a few things in advance because my time crunch here for my video is um, limited. So I had to pre-prep some things. So what I did here is I've taken my fake nail and I've already painted it black. And I don't know if you can see, but I had to extend it just a little bit. But it won't be so noticeable once, um, once the... you'll see. Once something goes over top of it, it'll kind of cover it. So nobody is going to see that. So I've already had this prepared. That's, that's fine as it is. So what I've done is I have made some of these. Oh, oopsie. So here we go. We've got a glove. We've got a few gloves. Michael Jackson's silver glitter gloves. Of course, you can't do a video uh, of Michael Jackson without having his glitter gloves on there. And then I've also made some of his shoes. And I, I also made a couple of smaller ones too, because I wasn't sure what size I was going to do it for um, what, how it was going to be on the video. So what I've done is, in order for me to get those is I've kind of drawn a couple of hands and a couple of shoes and a variety of sizes. So what I just did was I picked the best one that I liked and I put this little parchment paper over top of the design and then you can put the acrylic right over top of it and mold it into the shape that you want. So these are the ones that I had not picked for my favorite. I have already a couple of my favorites that I like right here. So here we go. So here is his shoe and here is his glove. I've already pre-prepped the glove and dipped it in a little bit of glitter. Naturally, you have to have Michael Jackson's hand glove glittery and then one of his shoes. And I also did a little, a little shoe of his but I, I think uh, I like I like the bigger shoe and you got to have a platform for a shoe right and so in Michael Jackson's video it shows him standing on squares that light up so I have prepared this little square out of a beautiful opal color and it has that little shine and sparkle to it and I thought it was the perfect color for Michael Jackson's square. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to have a, uh, a paste that there and then the, the shoe will just sit on top of it and then the hand and then I'm going to write Billie Jean right here. So I'm thinking perhaps maybe I should write Billie Jean here first before I put this stuff on just in case I'm not able to do it while the objects are already on the na nail. So I'm going to try to do that. And I'm pretty sure what I saw in the video is it is in pink. And it's kind of like in writing font. So I'm going to try to do that as best as I can. And I'm not a professional, so, you know, I'm... I'm hoping it's going to turn out the way I'd like it to. So I'm going to get my brush here and I've got the fluorescent bright pink right over here. And I'm just going to take my nail. Let me just put this aside for one second. And okay. 
There we go. I'm going to try to do this on camera, but the angle is not greatest, and I keep getting freaking hairs everywhere. But it's not me, the hair bag, it's my animals, so I don't know who's worse. Bright red hair, black hair, or brown hair. They either seem to be eating it, sleeping with it, bathing with it, you name it, it's with me all the time. So, here we go. So, let's see if I can push that back a little bit. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Here we go. You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this on camera. Just give me one second and I'll be right back and hopefully uh, it'll be better. Okay, so I've tried to adjust the camera angle and I'm going to try to, to do this painting so you guys can see my non-skills. So, I'm hoping that this pink is going to show up really nice. You know what, maybe I should probably do it white first and then pink. Well, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, no, this isn't working for me. Okay, sorry folks, I had to do that off camera because I wasn't getting the the camera angle and I wasn't able to do it on camera because my camera's not all that great and I'm going to have to brush up on my photography skills too. So what I've done is, sorry, uh, hairs, I can see this stupid hairs with my hair bag. Okay, so I've done it, uh, Billie Jean. I had to do uh, the first coat in white because it wasn't popping properly. Like, I didn't like it. So I did the first coat in white, and then I redid it in pink. So now I think the next step would be to try to stick all this stuff on here. So I'm going to take um, acrylic and glue it on with acrylic because every time I use a... Um, glue or nail glue or anything I end up gluing myself to it so I'm going to take a little piece of acrylic hope you all can see that oh crap Can you see that? Gotta just stick and once it dries I'll come back to you and we'll continue with the with the shoe. Hi and welcome back. So I think we've got the uh, the stone um, secured now. So we should be able to add the shoe and his glove. So I was thinking perhaps maybe it might be a little bit easier to do the hand first. So I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to secure that with some acrylic. I'm just going to grab a little bit of acrylic here. Okay. Okay. I'll just put it off to the side a little bit so you can still see the words Billy Jean. And I got my little hand here. There. That actually looks pretty decent. And the last thing to do is to secure his shoe. And that might prove to be a little bit more difficult. Sorry, this focusing isn't very good. I apologize. Okay, so let me just grab a little piece of acrylic. Not sure what's the best way to do this. Okay, let's do this. Okay, 
Yeah, can you all see that? All right. Now, no. Okay, I'm gonna need to put a little bit more acrylic on there. All right, sorry guys. Just grab some more acrylic. We got them down. Just gonna put a little bit more acrylic on either side just to help secure it a little bit better. There. And there we have it. All right. There you go. It didn't turn out so bad after all, did it? I'm sorry. My, my camera doesn't focus very good. So, there's the shoe on his little platform. And Michael Jackson's glove. We still got a little bit of a 3D effect going on there. See? If you were going to actually wear this as a functional nail, it would probably be better to try to encase the whole thing in acrylic and or clear acrylic so that it's it's more solid. But I actually think it turned out not so bad. I'm actually quite impressed with how it turned out, considering I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out. But I think it, I think it turned really well. There. And I hope I've made Mr. Michael Jackson very proud. And hopefully the Jackson family as well. So I appreciate you guys coming on this journey with me. And I'm actually really quite impressed on how this uh, Michael Jackson's Billie Jean nail turned out. So thank you everybody for watching. And uh, you know what I'm going to say. Stay groovy. Peace out.